Hello, welcome to uh, the BA Honours Costume and Performance Design webinar um, from the Arts University Bournemouth. So my name is Rebecca Pride and I am the course leader um, of uh, the BA Costume and Performance Design course um, and I lead a team of 14 uh, staff, most of whom are academics and then four technicians who um, who uh, deliver this course at the Arts University, which is on the south coast um, of the UK in a very beautiful place with fantastic beaches and um, beautiful natural environment. Um, and Bournemouth is a really exciting town with lots of young people and as you'd expect, because it's by the beach, it's got a fantastic environment. So that's about Bournemouth, but um, now I'll start to talk about the course. Okay, so why would you choose to come to um, the Arch University Bournemouth? Well, <clears throat> it was voted um, to be the top modern university in the southwest of the UK by the Times and the Sunday Times Good University Guide in 2018. Um, the Sunday Times said, um, moving up 13 places in the national rankings this year, AUB is one of just three modern universities to rank higher in the new league table. So we're kind of recognised in the UK for being um, a centre of, of excellence um, in the kind of in, as a specialist arts university. We also have a really low dropout rate, which I think is quite an important thing, um, with the non-completion non rate standing at just six percent, around the, the half the expected figure. And actually, on my course, it's even lower than that, much lower than that, in fact. Um, <clears throat> also, students' perception of teaching quality and AUB the highest mark in the southwest for this performance uh, uh, indicator with 83.2% um, positive score. And, and again, the question, my course, the question course, has, a, has a, um, an even higher number, in, um, uh, which I'll come to later in this presentation. So those are kind of th three key points that make AUB a really exciting proposition, I think. Okay, what, why is, what, what is it about AUB that's really interesting? Well, I love it here because it's like working in a little um, specialist arts complex because we have a film course, we have a makeup course, and we have an acting course, a dance course, um, as well as all the other courses at AUB. But those, principally, those courses relate very closely, as you can imagine, with uh, teaching costume and performance design. Um, and this creates a really cool kind of collaborative culture, um, a microcosm of the creative industries. Uh, so it's like being in our own film studio slash theatre arts complex here, which is really, really exciting. And it's, a, it's other universities may have those things, but they're usually in quite diverse locations geographically within a town. Whereas all of ours are really close together on our on our campus of I think thirteen acres I think our campus is, and um, and so the film course I can see out of my office window the acting course I can see out of my office window, and the students can just work you know weave in and out between all those courses and do really interesting collaborative projects, which is good because then they meet the future professionals in those industries and they will develop links which which will. You know, stand them in good stead when they work in the industry. The image in that in that slide is an example of the kind of work that our costume makers could make, which is um, obviously a very beautiful costume with hand embroidered, uh, bespoke costume. Um, it was it was made um, as an interpretation of the dress that Lady Barbara Skelton would have worn for for the film The Wicked Lady, and one of our third years made that a couple of years ago. Okay, so what do we do on this course? Um, we train students to become practitioners in the, in the theatre, film, TV and events industries. Uh, they can become what we call sonographers, which is um, set in costume design for performance, i.e. theatre. Um, they can become costume interpreters, that's costume makers. We use the word interpretation because the skill is to interpret a, a design from uh, a, a costume designer. Um, costume designers for screen. So some of our students work with the film course and, and um, 
design costume only for, for screen. And then we have costume supervisors. We are one of the only courses in the UK that teaches costume supervision as a specialist area. Um, and uh, I think the only other course is at Guildhall that teaches that as a specific academic subject. Um, and um, yeah, so, so th that's quite unusual. Costume supervision is the management of the procurement of costumes. So um, that's quite an interesting area that we, we look into. And that image that you can see on the slide there is from um, a recent production that we did called, of Grim Tales, the play Grim Tales. And you can see it has projection work, um, which was designed by our students. Uh, so alongside hard set, which you can see there in the background, you also have that, that sort of added dimension of projection work. Um, obviously you've got costumes there, they were all made and designed by our students, and the set was designed by our students. And there would have been somebody who was acting as a supervisor to get all of those costumes together, make sure they fit, organise all, you know, every, the whole process of production. It's important to say that we do award named awards in those areas. So a student will gra could graduate if they decide to and they take the right path through the course uh, in one of those four areas. So their degree will say BA Honours Costume and Performance Design and then in bracket one of those four areas. Alternative students can opt for what we call a generic award which is where they, they just have BA Costume and Performance Design on their degree certificate. Okay, so um, in the first year, I should also point out before I go any further that our course is going through validation this year. And so there will be changes to certain aspects of the things I'm going to talk, talk to you about now. But we are still developing those changes. So I really don't know, I can't tell you exactly what they are, but um, uh, that it would obviously all be on our website when we know more about it. But the course for the foreseeable future is as I'm describing now. The first year, students spend 50% of their time de designing and 50% making. Um, and you can see images there from, um, uh, there's a little set there, a set model box. So a student designed a 1 to 25 scale model for our studio theatre that we have on the campus. Uh, and then they, they uh, design a, a show. And that student actually is now working um, the Royal College of Music doing design so um, and has worked at Chichester Festival doing design work so she's done extremely well um, and the other lady there you can see is um, drafting a pattern um, and we teach you how to do all the basic processes connected with sewing so all, all the different elements of um, sewing seam, different types of seams, different types of fastenings um, and drafting a pattern making a basic block um, and all these processes we teach you. We, we don't expect students to be able to sew when they come on this course. It's not a prerequisite. It's great if you can, and some are extremely experienced at um, sewing, but many just have a great love of, you know, want to work in this industry. And so, that, you know, we do teach you everything you need to know in that first year, all the basics. We do have videos of, the, of some of the work that we do in the first year, some films that we make and various other things, photo shoots, on our website if you want to have a look at those. So yeah, if you, if you look on, click on the course pages of AUB and look at the website, you can see examples of some of the first year work that we do. 
Okay, you also have to do contextual study throughout the course. Um, that's what makes it into a BA honours degree. But uh, we do have a brilliant contextual studies teacher, Dr. John Cruz, who um, uh, is a is a performer himself and uh, uh, has a has a uh, his PhD interest was in um, cultural geography, but uh, with 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 carnival and performance. Um, and he is a really good teacher and um, gets the best out of students with their essays. So we really do expect our students to be you know really good at writing. Um, and um, you know some some students really go on to do master's study you know in, in academic areas and P even PhDs so we're really proud of the contextual study work um, you know we write about culture and performance we write about the theoretical culture and, and political context in which the work of the visual artist costume interpreter and, and um, performance designer uh, can be placed we look at performance and how it relates to social conditions and critical ideas. So um, our, a lot of emphasis is placed on, 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 the, on the quality of the writing. Um, uh, and John does some really good work with students to, to bring out that kind of aspect of their learning. So we're really proud of the um, written work that students produce here. It's, it's not a secondary thing. It's very, very intrinsic to um, everything that we do here. Okay, now in the second year, the end of the first year, we expect you to make a decision whether you're going to be carry on with the course as a maker or as a designer. So, so, um, so at, the end, at the end of the first year, you, you, you state a preference um, and in the final unit, and then you are put into the two different areas. Okay, um, and the, the, the whole of the second year really the, the basis is about developing further skills um, we bring in the supervision we bring in the film design in the second year um, and you know it's it's all about honing your skills consolidating your skills ready for the third year which I'll talk about in a minute but the second year it's about developing specialist advanced skills so you can see the image there um, of the guy in the red in the purple jacket that's actually um, a photoshop rendered design um, and we 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 will have given you photoshop training in the first year basic photoshop training for costume design but we expect that to get more developed by the um by the second year um, and that's an example of the kind of work that you have to produce um, and it's more indicative of the kind of designing that you do within the film industry or the presentation of the work in the film industry. The image in the centre there is of um, the, those are little 1 to 25 models of shop fronts and we, we will get you to um, go to locations in, in, the, uh, in, in Boscombe and Bournemouth, measure up a shop front and then impose your own imagination onto that shop front with a, with a design for based on a, on, a, on a play or a musical or another text that we might come up with and you have to, it's really about you showing your your model making skills but also developing your imagination and working from a text um, the image of the guy in the in the green is an example of making work so for the Shakespeare 400 project which was uh, the kind of I think it was international actually that that Shakespeare 400 project it was about um, celeb ce commemorating um, 400 years of Shakespeare since Shakespeare's death and so in, tw in uh, 2016 and so we did a project where we linked uh, Batman and Shakespeare and um, students made costumes that were based a kind of mash up between Shakespeare's texts and um, and um, Batman so Marvel Comics and so we did a, a professional photo shoot we employed a, um, a professional photographer and um, we worked with our uh, viscom and graphic design departments to impose lines from Shakespeare over those images so we created a set of uh, I think it was 16 posters which were following the photo shoot and it, and it was a kind of example of the collaboration that we do at AUB and how kind of exciting that can be and that I think those are also on our website if you have a look. So so you, you will have honed, you will have decided on your specialist area 
um, and some of some students may decide to specialise in supervising following their second year or in design for screen um, because we would have introduced those areas. So there's, there's still a degree of flexibility though about students can change their mind, they might have started doing making and change design and vice versa. This is okay. Um, so, you know, just to just to clarify that, although you make a decision at the end of the first year, there's still a degree of um, flexibility about um, what, what you can do at that stage. OK, now this is all preparing you for the third year. Now, the third year, we call it doing it for real. OK, so it's all about um, you practicing now we, we expect we hope that you've really got sort of some very solid skills um, and we will now start working with the BA film production course and with the um, BA acting course and the BA dance course and the BA makeup for media and performance course um, and you will uh, be given opportunities so we, we send you out a lot of opportunities over the summer a huge list of projects which some of which are external to AUB. So for example we might be making objects for a museum, historical objects, um, or we might be work we might be working with an external theatre company to make costumes. Uh, and these will be projects that we've put together over the um, over the preceding year and then we advertise those to you and you just you state preferences. And about 98% of students get their first preference. Um, and you also have the option, if you want to, to do your, what we call an own project. So that's where you have decided on a project you want to do. So it might be making a costume or it might be uh, designing your own film that you self-author and produce. Um, or it might be um, uh, making a costume, designing, designing something that you've, you, you know, you've always wanted to design a particular play or opera or ballet and you have that option to do that but the majority of students will work on what we call live projects and we will be staging um, four to six shows with the acting course in the autumn term and four or possibly more shows in the spring summer terms we will be putting we will be producing nine what we call grad films graduate graduation films with the with the BA uh, film production course and students will work in close teams to, um, to put these shows on. So, for example, this year we have done um, four productions. We've, we, the, four, the fourth production is actually opening in a couple of weeks' time. Um, but we've just done three productions based on um, Frankenstein because it's 200 years since um, Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein. And so, as she lived in Bournemouth, we are celebrating that and that we, we've done um, we've done three shows of Frank based on Frankenstein so far in the Shelley Theatre which was her personal theatre which is here in Bournemouth and believe it or not and so it's a very exciting space to work in because you can recreate her great work within that space so the the atmosphere and aura of that is really quite amazing um, and we've just had the great privilege of doing that last week and the week before. So um, we did a production called Mary Shelley and we did a production called Blood and Ice and we did a device piece called Freakenstein last week. Um, so, so on those shows, with those shows, we um, students designed the costumes, they designed the set, they made uh, the costumes, they supervised, they did the dressing and the, all the backstage work. Um, and built the set and painted the set and everything so it was very very exciting very big production values um, and in as I said the final production is going to be at St Peter's Church in Bournemouth which is where Mary Shelley is buried and so um, we're doing a very exciting devised piece in collaboration with our BA writing course and the acting course um, so that's very exciting. And then we're also doing a, a dance show this term. So we've, we have a devised da dance show called This Happy Place. Um, and our students are, have been formed teams on all of those. We've also done, um, the film students have developed some uh, quite elaborate photo shoots. And they're working with the BA um, 
photography and commercial photography students to um, to get get used to working um, behind the lens to create atmospheric Im uh, imagery. They're also working with the BA film course to develop the grad films, which will start shooting as soon as we get back after the holidays. So um, it's a very busy term and our students work in amazingly sort of busy, busy teams uh, in all terms this in the third year. So um, after this term, there will be another load of opportunities the students are sent um, and they will apply for those in the same way. Uh, we, we've done uh, uh, some professional costumes too. We've made costumes for pantomimes at um, Oxford Playhouse and at Winchester Theatre Royal. And our students are now working at those particular theatres, doing work experience, as well as they've made costumes for those pantomimes. So we're really proud of those and it's really exciting. Um, you also, in the third year, will um, be, create your promotional materials. So your portfolio, your website, uh, you, you'll do, do a, a business card, you'll learn about tax affairs in the UK, how to be a freelancer, um, have a lot of industry people come and talk to the students about um, uh, you know what, what to expect in in, in in industry. Students do work experience throughout the third year. It's an option. They don't have to do it, but we are constantly sending out um, opportunities to our students, and they take it up a lot. So they go and do really exciting projects um, all over the place. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about these these, these named awards and specialist areas. Sonography. This, this image you can see here um, is a still from a, a show we did a couple of years ago and it shows that you know not everything is a big elaborate period costume. We specialise too in contemporary costumes. So you can see that you know, these, these costumes have had to be adapted for this contemporary performance. And you can see the set in the background was um, made out of plywood. It was CNC cut, so that's like a huge kind of printer cutting out the um, wood um, to create this set um, and we do have really high production values we have a fantastic workshop where our students work with brilliant set builders to see their designs come to life um, and and again with the costumes all those the costumes are contemporary clothing but all will have been adapted to be bespoke for that particular actor and that particular design Um, here's an example of the photo shoots I was talking about that we do, the film students do. So this is um, Wuthering Heights. The, the project was to um, create a still sort of showing the atmosphere of Wuthering Heights. And that student um, would have sourced that costume, sourced the actors, uh, the location, um, and you know worked with a photographer to actually create that, that image. Costume supervision, it's all about management, about organisation, about um, how to interpret um, a designer's vision and, and make sure the director's happy, the actor's happy, the makers are happy. It's a very, very key, pivotal role within, within theatre um, and our supervisors are given a lot of responsibility uh, as well as budget to realise the work. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a, a very, very what we call transferable, the skills are transferable that you learn on costume supervision because it's all about management and about organisation. So, um, our, you know, it's really quite inspiring what the students manage to achieve in that unit. Here you can see the costume interpretation. So this is a kind of the, you know, a really good example of um, the way that we might interpret a painting to become um, a, an actual costume. So um, the you can see the dress was interpreted from that portrait um, of um, Elizabeth de Valois by Alonso Sanchez Culeo. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, all those people who might be listening from Spain. But um, uh, you can see what a beautiful dress that is. Um, the it's a, That's the kind of example of a really high achieving costume maker who has made a, a fantastic dress now in that case that student would have paid for that dress themselves because they want that was what we call an own project so they had you know researched that 
portrait, decided that's what they wanted to do, um, and so they would have had to pay to do that question themselves. The other work that you've I've shown so uh, would have been paid for by the course because it would have been on one of the films or productions that we were doing. So there is a kind of difference there. But we do like to do projects which are paid for by the university rather than by the individual because obviously that saves money. But um, but you can see where you could go, the possibilities that you could achieve if you took that option. We do, um, we have a brilliant tailor, Katerina, who teaches tailoring. Um, and you can see example in the centre there of, um, that's um, a, a, a female outfit, obviously from the, from the Second World War. Um, and that kind of uniform work is, we, we do a lot of that here. Um, and Katerina is an expert in that. We also do the, the green dress there is beautiful um, bias cut cutting, 1930s cutting, that's from the film Atonement, um, which students can opt, again, that would be all of these are own projects. So students have actually said, yeah, I want to make the dress from Atonement, and then they've had the support to do that, um, working from the original design, doing the research, finding out all about the you know the costume in question. Um, and Wayne Martin um, and Man Mandy Barrington um, and Sarah McGill are also the other tutors who you can see on the website, you see their profiles, and they will help students to realise those sort of costumes. Costume design, uh, we, do, we do costume design in both traditional analogue methods, as you can see with the orange framed costume there, and we do the Photoshop, which I talked about briefly earlier. So um, both kinds of presentation we have staff who um, can teach you those skills so um, you can see the, the one there from uh, Mephistopheles the orange outfit there that's designed by a student a few years ago who's now working on Doctor Who and in the film industry um, and Nicole there who did the guy in the, with the blue jacket she is doing our MA course at the moment in animation but she was a brilliant brilliant did, did beautiful drawing and uh, so we, we cater for both kind of styles. We also have, part of being in Dorset is because it's such an area of outstanding natural beauty, we um, do a lot of site-specific theatre here in the summer, mostly in the summer, um, usually based around the, the coastline. Uh, and in this particular case, we did um, a production for a company called Arbronauts, um, and we um, we were given the opportunity to design, given a brief, and a st students designed um, for this uh, outdoor choral project that was very successful. And um, uh, Pip designed these, and then Pip and a team made. I think there were thirty of those guys in those sort of funny, sort of yellow umbrella kind of costumes because they had to work in all weathers these costumes and. And um, it was really interesting. So it's based on the natural environment. And we have done quite a lot of projects like that um, in the past. And it's a kind of area of specialism for some of our academics. And um, we have quite a reputation now with the, that community of um, theatre makers. Students do, can do prop, prop making and puppetry as well. So you can see that amazing um, puppet there. That was made for the Shakespeare 400 project. And um, Amy made that, and it's really amazing, amazing puppet. And then you can see that image there is from one of our shows that we did, um, uh, the Good Person of Sichuan at the Pavilion Dance Theatre. So in the spring summer terms, we hire two, principally two venues. So we hire um, Pavilion Dance South West, which is a theatre venue just by the sea, you can see the sea from the theatre, it's really beautiful, and um, we that we will take that over a couple of weeks a year and put on shows. That, so that's everything you can see in that photograph was designed or, and made by students from this course. Corset making, we usually put the corset making in the second year, um, and Mandy Barrington, one of our academics, has written two books on the subject. Um, and you can see examples there of that beautiful work that students can make within that area. Um, so. 
And this is an example of the kind of external projects that we do. So um, we, we were asked by one of our uh, site-specific companies that we work with, which is um, Cirque Bijou, who are based in Bristol. They're a, um, a fantastic, um, huge events company that do sort of circus events. And they were asked to do um, uh, 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 the opening sort of ceremony, if you like, of the Bristol Green Capital of Europe um, um, project uh, in 2015 and the, the, the green dress was was designed by one of our alumni who had since left and worked a lot with Sir Bijou, um, had made that link while she was on the course here and then it was made by one of our third, then third year makers and it's a really exciting costume because it it, it lights up as you can see um, and it's um, worn by an aerialist who is hanging from wires um, while another aerialist is riding a bike across a um, high wire. So it's very, very <laughs> difficult costume to make. It has to be absolutely perfect and accurate. And that's the kind of project that one of our um, third year uh, students could might, might actually get the opportunity to do. Um, we do things like the Janet Arnold Patterns of Fashion Award, which is um, an international competition that um, students can enter. To, um, and uh, you can see the, uh, the jacket there, the Margaret Layton embroidered jacket. That is the jacket that was made by the students. But if you look at the original, which you can see if you Google it, there is very little difference between the, the jacket that our students made that year and the original uh, jacket which was from I think 1603 I think from memory but um, our student won the prize that year for embroidering that jacket and making that jacket. The dress in the centre that also won uh, the 1887 to 89 day dress which is in the B&A um, and the dress, uh, the cream and blue dress, that was a runner-up this year but you can see, you know, we've won this competition a lot. If you look on the uh, Janet Arnold Patterns of Fashion Award competition, um, you can in the Costume Society website, um, you can see the examples going back over ten years that our students have won that. So looking into this very historical element is, is a really important part for some students of our course. The course is actually quite old for a costume course. It's we celebrated our twenty fifth anniversary in 2017 um, uh, and although that doesn't sound very old that is actually quite old in the UK so we are very established we, we know what we're doing we know what you know we know what we're all about we um, you know we, we it's, it's very established uh, our strengths are that we have excellent uh, statistics so um, one of our strengths. <laughs> um, so we, so we, great employability. 100% students in work in the destination of leavers of higher education survey, and 80% in graduate or managerial posts. So that's pretty good. We're pretty happy with that. We also have, more importantly, really happy students. So 97% um, for overall satisfaction in the in the in the current national student survey. So if you look on our website, you can go to what's called the KISS data, which is, stands for Key Information Sets. Um, and we uh, have the highest um, overall satisfaction or equal highest overall satisfaction if you compare us with our main competitors. Um, and But that the thing about that that's quite interesting is that our statistics are very consistent. The numbers don't go up and down uh, for overall satisfaction. So the lowest that I can remember is 93% for overall satisfaction. So, you know, we, we, we do pride ourselves on having quite happy students on our course. Um, and also high numbers in terms of teaching on the course. So 97% of students this year um, said they were happy with the teaching. I mean, I would like to, to be 100, and it has been 100. Um, you know, in I think last year it was 100, actually. But, um, you know, we... we that's pretty good. We're quite we're quite happy with that. We also have good contact hours. Um, students come in at least three days a week and every day at level six. Um, and our staff are very accessible to students. So um, 
you know, pleased with that. We have accreditation. We're one of the only courses with accreditation for costume in the UK. We're accredited by the Creative, creative Skillset um, organisation. Um, and uh, this is really in recognition of our curriculum. So the Creative Skillset looked at our curriculum, looked at the statistics, looked at the way we teach, the, our connections with industry, um, and, and that's why we received that tick in 2013. Um, and you know our, the employability um, and the way that we link all of our curriculum with industry has is what I think makes stands so apart from others. Um, also, we have TEF Gold. So, um, 2017, the university received TEF Gold for teaching. The kind of jobs that people do when they leave our course, um, this creative skill set hold a, tra a traineeship uh, sort of prize, and um, students from this course always seem to win that every year. Um, and one of our students, two of our students actually won that a couple of years ago and have been working on Victoria, the ITV series Victoria, um, based on the life of Queen Victoria ever since. We also have trainees on Star Wars, The Bodyguard, which is a BBC. It's BBC um, a production, um, Killing Eve, Men in Black, or, uh, people work at the RSC, National Theatre, Scottish Opera, um, and then people are working in the West End um, on all the big shows in the West End I've listed there. Um, and we, we, se we send a lot of students to things like The Crown to do work experience, and also our students are working, our alumni are working there as well. Um, one of, our one of our alumni won the Limbury Prize this last year um, and, and did a project at uh, Phoenix Dance called the Windrush. Um, we have people working as art directors, um, Michael Grubb Studios. Uh, s s people, uh, but one of our alumni actually worked at the RSC, designing set and costumes. And we have um, a company director um, of a huge events company called Hattie and Flora, who's one of our alumni. Um, I've mentioned at the beginning the team, um, that's all of our team apart from one who was on holiday at the time that photograph was taken, but um, that we have a big team as you can see and, we, and because we have a lot of tutors we have a lot of specialist knowledge within the team um, and we can kind of flex to support students in most projects that they want to do. Um, and we received 99% for the staff who made the subject interesting in the 2018 NSS. Uh, you, you can find out all about what we're doing, really look at the nitty gritty of what we're doing. If you particularly look at the Instagram page, so you can see up to the minute examples of the kind of work we're doing. Um, uh, and also on uh, Twitter. Um, and we have an alumni group on Facebook, which I think is an open group. Um, but that the alumni group on Facebook has about 500, over 500 members who are all the kind of movers and shakers of the costume industry in the UK and at the far afield. Uh, last year we won a prize, the Queen's Anniversary Prize, uh, for, for, and I quote, distinguished degree level education in costume design for the UK's leading creative industries. Again, the key word there is industry, creative industries, you know, the work we're doing, which is so focused on industry, so focused on um, you know making students have experiences which are based on real projects. That is why we won this Queen's Anniversary Prize. Um, but anyway, that is it. So I hope that's answered some of your questions and about the course and about um, why to choose AEB um, and. We have students from all over the world actually on the course and we have, um, you know, our, our kind of reputation does seem to extend all over the world, particularly to America, to the Far East um, and, and to South America. So, and obviously to Europe, but we really, you know, we really love having such diverse range of students. So um, I hope that that has answered some of your questions and that you will apply to AUV.